Well, what you're supposed to do... I, you gotta be... Ugh, why are you there? Why are you hiding in a bush? In the forest? Why? Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very angry episode of Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. This is part 12, and I... I am not a very happy banana- oh goodness. <laughs> I'm not a very happy banana even though I'm laughing, so that makes very, very much sense. As do my words. Um, anyways, what happened and why I am so angry right now is because my save file got corrupted and I had to replay through everything to get back here because I didn't have another save. So... As you can well imagine, that was an extremely annoying two hours of playing, but now I am back, and I am ready to rock and or roll. So, also, giving another thanks to everyone who was... who understood where I was coming from. As to stopping Minecraft, I don't like to mention other games. And, oh, hello, randomly placed jumping skull. Anyways, I don't like to talk about other games and, you know, games that don't pertain to it. But I want to thank everyone who has been supportive of that and has understood where I've been coming through from. Yeah. Anyways, you're going to want to go over here. Oh yeah, all, people have been, have been like, leaving anyways comments because I say it way too much in this Let's Play. So, we are going to try and stop saying that, oh man, he is just unaffected by that. He looks like he's on steroids. It's a steroided bodybuilder with a ponytail. Wow, what a creeper. Anyways, we're going to be picking up a heart piece. Wow, that was that was bad timing. We're going to be picking up a heart piece. And after that, we're going to be going to the third dungeon slash palace in the Dark World. As I said previously, it is my favorite one, mainly because of design and the whole concept behind it. But it is a pain in the ass. I am not even joking, this is a mean dungeon. Especially if you don't know what you're doing and... I like to take out these pterodactyl things because they annoy me. Anyways, oops, already doing it again. <laughs> uh, if you would have gone in here before we got the hookshot, you would have been able to access this area. But also, you would not have been able to access it if you hadn't gotten, hadn't obtained the magic cape. And I don't remember showing you guys what the magic cape does, I just, you know, told you the description, but I will show you what it does right here. It's really cool. You will go invisible, and you'll be able to pass through things. You're also invulnerable, pretty much. So that is really freaking cool. Let's get the hook shot back out, because I love the hook shot. And here is our next piece of heart. We just need two more, and we will have another chunk. You have to be careful of that, because he will attack you right when you jump down. Okay. Really, Dylan. Really? R really, Dylan? R real? Oh, come on! I- Oh my god, I'm gonna die to a pterodactyl. Oh my god! <laughs> you got it. I don't even- What? What just happened? Uh, I don't want to use my fairy. Wait. Okay, the, the, the beeping isn't there. When you get too low on hearts, in case you do not know this, which I'm going to be very sad if you don't, when you get too low on hearts in Zelda, it'll make this very annoying beeping sound that does not stop. So, if that had been going on, I'd have been like, hell no, bro, we ain't doing that. So you're going to want to go up here, and you're going to see just how annoying this dungeon is if- Oh! If you don't know what you're doing. When you first go in here, you're probably like, oh, there is a hole right here, I should pass through it. And, you know, go into this, because that's obviously where I should go. No! You need to fall into this hole. And thus begins the giant labyrinth of this dungeon. Now you're gonna see some- whoa! Some new monsters- oh god! <laughs> some new monsters in this- in this dungeon. There is the wall master, I think that's his name. He is the giant hand that comes down and will grab you if you are stationary, or, you know, run into him. And will bring you all the way back to the beginning of the dungeon, which is, trust me, extremely annoying. The mummies actually die very fast to fire, which is kind of a hint as to what item we're going to be getting in this dungeon. But you can also kill them with a sword, it just takes considerably longer. So anyways, after you grab those keys, you want to go out here. And then we're going to go over here, and I like to I like to just kill that guy because he annoys me. And you're going to notice, uh, I do have considerable larger amount of rupees. Kind of forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm so good with words. 
Anyways, you're gonna want to use Bombos in here. But I have a little bit more rupees, but that's because I had to go grind on the rupee game where we got the heart piece in Kakariko Village and whatnot. So if you want to go there, you want to get caught up to how many I have, you can go do that. I think there's a heart around here somewhere. Is there? Okay. Heart, heart, please. Oh, hi, how you doing? I could use the magic cape to go past that, but I don't really see the point in it, so we're not gonna do that. Bam. Right when you get this chest, the floor is going to change dramatically, as you can obviously tell. Now, honestly, can you kill these guys? I don't really know. I think you can. I don't know. I actually, when I was when I first played this game as a kid, I never killed them. I just knocked them off the side because I was like, I don't know what's going down. Uh, I am going to be overusing the Bombos medallion in this dungeon, but you're going to understand why. If you were to do this room without this medallion, it would be the biggest pain in the world. Oh, hello. Where are you, Warmaster? Come out to play. Oh, and he, he does that right when I throw the pot away. Alright, awesome. So anyways, mm. once you get that, go grab the key rat chair. And then you can go over here. And now we're back over here. You're probably wondering, what what, what is going on here, Banana Pie Lord? Why are you just going in circles? I'm not necessarily going in circles. I am unlocking the doors that are going to allow us to do things and get places. Now, you're going to want to be careful right there. You're going to want to be careful right there. Because he can jump past that first bush. And I got hit a lot there when I was doing my practice run of this game. And I had to play for two hours to get back to this point. Anyways, not talking about that. Once you go in here, once again, use the Bombos Medallion unless you want a challenge. I will not be using the Bombos Medallion on one room just to make it a little more entertaining for you guys. But uh, for these first couple of rooms, I am going to be use it, using it. Because it is a pain if you don't use it. Trust me. I would know. Because I'm Link and I have pink hair. Anyways, if he does bring you back, I did it again. If he does bring you back to the beginning of the dungeon, there we go, all the enemies will respawn, so that is really the main reason as to why you do not want to let him grab you. Alright. Oh god, oh. Really? Really? Oh, freaking stupid wall masters! Okay. It goes take two, even though it's not really take two. Attempt two, there's the word. I'm oh, sweet, hearts. I guess that wasn't all so bad, now was it? <sighs> I hate this dungeon for that fact, or the reason that... I missed every sing- I am terrible at this game! Anyways, I really despise this dungeon because of those guys. If it wasn't for them- oops. If it wasn't for them, it really wouldn't be too bad. So I'm gonna be nice, make it more enjoyable for you guys. I'm not gonna use it in here. It, re really? You're not gonna you're not gonna move? All right. Just gonna use this. Ha what? Okay, that was that was. Oh god! Can I freeze you guys? Can I free? I can't free. Oh man! Oh snap! No 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 Okay. See now this is what I mean by these mummies being stupid. You you owned. Alright. Oh no, no not that thing, not that thing. Snap. Okay, 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 okay. I get it, I don't have any health. Thank you for reminding me, goodness. <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna. Ooh, I have three fairies. Awesome. All right. Oh no, 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 no! Come, 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 come here. Thank you. Goodness. All right. So, if you need a refill on your magic, you can bomb this wall. And we're gonna do that just to, you know, just just to be OCD and have full magic. Oh man, it's getting really hot in my room. Must be because I'm in here. <laughs> ooh. Anyways, you're gonna want to use your magic mirror. After that, go out of here. And I do believe that we, yes, we need to go back over here. I got stuck on this part so many times when I was a kid because you don't, it doesn't really make too much sense as to where you need to go next. You, you get the big key, or you get the master key. Big key, is it big key or the master key? I honestly can't remember. And you're like, where do I go now? I mean, there's a hole down there, hole down there. That guy's mouth is open. 
That guy's mouth is open. This sounds incredibly wrong. Well, what you're supposed to do... I, you gotta be... Ugh, why are you there? Why are you hiding in a bush? In the forest? Why? Anyways, you need to go through here. This is how you actually progress farther into the dungeon. I would suggest picking this up, waiting for this little turtly turtle man to come... Oh, man, back off. Back, back off into... Yes, there we go. Perfect. Anyways, wait for him to go over there, and then um, under these skulls, there are some pretty good items. There's some hearts, some magic, some bombs. So if you need any of these, let's just pick them up. Oh, no. Okay, just gonna leave him there. You're gonna wanna bomb this wall over here. Bomb. And then make sure you step on this, because if you don't, when you would have gone over here, there would have been giant holes in the floor, so we would not have been able to get to this switch, which blows up a giant wall and unveils. Da -da -da -da! The chest with the item. Come, come. What, what? Thank you. Thank you. Anyways, in said chest, you found the fire rod. This rod commands the red fire, but watch your magic meter. And they're not joking about watching your magic meter, because this thing eats up magic like. 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 It eats up magic like a southerner drinks tea. I don't, I don't know. All I know is that a lot of my friends who are southern, southern, why did, okay. They drink a lot of tea, so this is, uh, if you are a southern person, I am deeply sorry to make fun of you for your tea drinking habits. And I don't mean, I don't mean good tea, I mean sweet iced tea. There you go, that is what I mean. So there you go. Anyways, that just, I feel like that was very awkward and it was not funny. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna go on. You're gonna want to grab this key. Probably thinking to yourself, BPL. <sighs> BPL, aren't we supposed to go through this door up here? No, you're not. Because if you go through, oh my goodness. All right, how, what, how, how? <laughs> we still have the key, but anyways, if you go through that door, it is actually a trap and will use up the key you have. So don't do that, and I'm going to show you why. If you exit out of here, there'll be two of these little... Oh, come on. I despise cabbage. You're going to go up here. I'm going to get your fire rod out, because this is the only way to get into this place. Bam. So here's the entrance to the real dungeon. We're about to fight the boss, and this boss is my least favorite boss in the entire game. Not e Oh, you can kill these guys with that? I did not know that. Anyways, see, if you would have used your key on that door, you'd been like, oh, there was nothing in there, okay. Then you come here and you see this chest and you're like, hey, it's just a chest, right? I can get that. What? I can't, I can't go over there. So you would have gone through this incredibly annoying maze just to get that key. So you can go up here and get hit, apparently, by the balls. <laughs> <And> <laughs> so that is why you want to save that. It makes this dungeon... A little bit easier, considering how mean it already is. Try and take out... Try and... Oh god, no! Try and take out these guys with the hook shot. Makes everything easier. Now, that maze is a pain if you don't know what you're doing, but luckily I know what I'm doing because I'm amazing. You want to use Bombos in here because I do not like fighting these mummies. They annoy me so much. Anyways, after you do that, grab your lump. You're gonna have to light all of these. How did you survive? No! No! Damn it! Uh, I'm sure you guys are just... You're just lulling right now. Oh, BPL, you, you suck. Uh, leave me alone. I gotta go through this again. Kill him. I gotta step on that. I gotta step on this. Over here. My magic. And... Oh! No! Ah, uh, my life. Oh my, you, I hate you so much. You ugly jellyfish. I hope you drown. Wait. How is that? Oh! Ah! Okay, we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna casually stroll past. Okay, I'm gonna go right here, and I'm gonna use this so none of these mummies survive, and I don't die. 
because that would be bad, and I don't want to die. So in the next room, I am not going to be using the Bombos, or I might be, or it might be the room after. I don't 100% know, because I don't want to even be in this dungeon, because this dungeon is mean and does not like me. Hugs, please. After you get that one, you want to grab your fire rod. Well, that was good timing. And you want to go over here. Okay, I'll... 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 Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Alright. See how nice I am, guys? I could have used Bombos and finished this thing instantly, but I was like, you know what? I want to be nice and, and you know, hurt myself, my self-esteem and all this just for you guys and I'll even do it in this room too that is just how nice I am you're probably just going oh man Dylan you're a nice you're a nice panda thing is I truly am a panda I'm sure you're all jealous right no 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 stop it gosh at least on my practice run he dropped a freaking fairy Okay, well, I think we're only gonna need one fairy for this, so we should be fine. Oh god, this boss. I don't like this boss. There is going to be a magic refill right over here. Careful, the wall master will still try to get you. There's arrows right there. I don't know why the hell they give you arrows. Arrows are kind of pointless on this boss. So it's like, oh, it's just a giant moth. Oh, the floor's moving. Oh, but it gets worse. These things come off. And they keep moving in really weird directions, and I'm gonna probably die. Wait, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that bad. Oh, I got hit. Oh crap. Oh man. Oh god, I got hit more. Oh, really? Really? On my practice run, I died like two times. I'm not even okay. Anyways, <laughs> there is the boss. BPL, because of you I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Do you know the prophecy of the great cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. If a person who has an evil heart gets the Triforce, a hero is destined to appear, and he alone must face the person who began the great cataclysm. If the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from his wicked reign. Only a person of the Knights of Hyrule who protected the royalty of Hylia can become the hero. You are of their bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Ching! Oh, so there we go, guys. That... That is the third? That is the third, third one in this, in this dark world. And as you can see, we have a few more to go to. We're going to be going to Kakariko Village next. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I very much appreciate when you do that. I'm very happy. And I want to thank everyone for being amazing subscribers. You guys are awesome. I will see you on the next episode. My name is... Banana Pie Roller.